Brutal week for Donald Trump, which means I have some great clips to play for you. First, watch him endorse President Biden. Got along with him well, although he did announce the other day that he'd much rather see Biden as president. And I agree with him. I agree. So in this clip, Trump is talking about Vladimir Putin, who recently said he would prefer to see President Biden win the 2024 election over Trump, which, first of all, is a obvious lie. I don't know why you would trust anything coming out of Vladimir Putin's mouth, especially after that recent Tucker Carlson interview. But just consider the fact that Russia has been playing mind games and running psychological operations on the U.S. for decades. Ever since the Cold War, they've been running advanced misinformation campaigns, and they've only gotten more clever. In the 2016 election, they had a substantial impact, which is proven by our FBI. So of course, Vladimir Putin is going to weigh in on the 2024 election. And of course, you should not believe what he's saying. First of all, painting President Biden as some pro-Russia Putin appeaser is absolutely false. President Biden has used hard power over the past two years to help Ukraine secure its border and to show authoritarian threats like Vladimir Putin and like Xi Jinping that you can't just invade your next door neighbor and take sovereign territory without facing repercussions. And in the process of delivering this old military equipment to Ukraine, President Biden has crippled one of our largest enemies. Russia's military is tight because of the sanctions, and they're about to lose a whole generation of young men by just throwing them into the wood chipper. All of this is to say that President Biden has stood up to Vladimir Putin more than Donald Trump ever has. So when Vladimir Putin says he'd prefer Biden, it's an obvious mind game, an attempt to rile up Donald Trump's fan base. On the other hand, Donald Trump has talked about pulling us out of NATO, he's alluded to appeasing Putin and letting him take large portions of Ukraine. All Trump has done is repeatedly praise Putin during this war, while President Biden has made sure that Ukraine can secure its border to the best of its ability. So Trump is the pro-Russia candidate. Russia wants to see President Trump win, and don't let anybody tell you otherwise, especially Vladimir Putin. But now, watch this clip of Donald Trump listing off his family members, and let me know who he forgot. First of all, my family. Melania, Barron, Don Jr. and Kimberly, Ivanka and Jared, Tiffany and Michael. They're so, so supportive, so supportive of me, and we really appreciate it and love them. They're great. We have a great family. Did he forget his son Eric exists, or did Eric just look at him the wrong way that day and bruise his ego? I just want to point out that if Biden ever forgot a single family member's name during a long list, people would be calling him Dementia Joe for months and railing on him. But President Trump does that, and in the same speech, he switches up multiple names, he slurs through words, he's sweating profusely, but because of the double standards that apply, nobody calls him out for that. So we need to start relentlessly spreading these clips of Trump just as much as the right spreads every little five second slip up that Biden has. I'm Adam Mockler with Occupy Democrats. Like and subscribe for more breaking news content.